Think of this. Think of the energies that this nation of ours has had to expend over all the years in trying to defend ourselves. Defend ourselves against closures. Defend ourselves against rising unemployment. Defend ourselves against the poll tax. Defend ourselves against the bedroom tax. Think what it would be like if we don't need to defend ourselves against policies delivered from Westminster, but could use that national energy to build a better society. That's the difference that having the power of independence will in fact make to our people. Right now there's a debate about how much it will cost us to set up a Scottish government. Of all the countries that have separated from London control, from Ireland in 1922, India in 1947, the Asian and African countries in the 1960s, we in Scotland are the best place of all to have a smooth transition from devolution to full independence. We have a civil service, we have a parliament, we have an infrastructure of roads and rails and air, we have universities that are among the best in the world. All of that is at our disposal. Those countries had to create them. We have them. So the argument about the cost of setting up an independent Scotland is a trivial one. Even if it cost us a billion pounds, it's a one-off payment. And if you spread that over the cost of 300 years, it's nothing whatsoever. It's a small one-off payment for us to take control of our own affairs and do for our people what we've been unable to do as part of the United Kingdom. Go out and trumpet to the people that at long last our time has come.